we're going to be doing um, some really pretty paper clay daisies. This time we're going to make some daisies. Now I'm really chuffed with my little daisies. If I just show you, um, this is my daisy drying rack that is just a little piece of card uh, fold in half and then just cut triangles in the fold and it means you can prop your daisies in see and they'll just dry perfectly so uh, you're not squidging them if they were on the table you'd squidge them and then you get flat bits now I'm going to show you how to do these really tough because they're quite big and bright and again because using the um, the air dry clay very very light so if you want to use them for your cards perfect okay this is how easy they are to do and that's the thing again with these they're incredibly easy and see how far this lasts we are taking tiny chunks so this lasts absolutely ages okay what we need to do this time is just roll um, a sausage a bit of a chunky one this time you want this how how wide this part is will um will give you the actual petal if you will the size of the petal now we're squidging this down again um, you don't have to be too perfect, you don't have to get it too fine. And then, taking a craft knife, and don't do what I do, I'm working on my tan mat, which I shouldn't really do with a craft knife. But to be honest, you don't need to put much pressure to cut through this, so you'll see I'm not actually cutting into my craft knife at all. So just create a straight edge. Now that straight edge is going to be um, the outside of my daisy. And I'm just going to take the two side panels off as well. Now to create the centre of your daisy, and this makes it really easy to actually roll and to, to actually um, hold the daisy afterwards, we're going to create the stamen. So what you want to do is again roll a sausage, but this time a lot thinner. And it's up to you, have a play with different variations. And it's this bit that we're going to see. So make sure that's got a nice um, rounded end so it looks nicely finished off. So leave that to one side for now and then we're going to take our craft knife and just start to create the petals. Now again I'm working on my tan mat which again you shouldn't really do with your craft, mat, uh, with your craft knife but you don't need much pressure. It's nice and lightweight is this and I'm just cutting my daisy petals. Now it's up to you how fine you want these to be. This one's going to be quite chunky actually but you can make this really really delicate if you need to. And obviously I'm just having it quite blocked at the end. If you want to take more time, because the, the clay is mouldable, if you want to take more time and round these petals off, then that's easier. And you can, uh, you can do that if you want a more perfect daisy. Now to make sure your centre sticks to the actual petals, all I'm going to do is take a water brush and just gently apply a little bit of water. You don't want to saturate it again, but that will make it sticky. And then, looking at this end, and I'll squidge this a little bit, or in fact, I'll work at this end. So now I'm putting my first piece down, so it's just laying into the actual um, the actual petals, and then just start to gently roll round. So we're taking that over, and then rolling. And hopefully that water that we've put on will just allow the clay to start sticking. It might do that already, it might be fine, but if it has dried out slightly, then the water should just help you get that stick. So we just roll all the way around and gently then just open up the petals. And you'll be able to see if any stick together, like these two, and you don't want them to, with your craft knife, just gently ease them apart. And look at that, how simple is that? Again, you can add colour to this when it's wet, if you wish, or while it's dry. And then, see what I like about these as well. You can obviously have it really open so your daisy is in full, full flower. Or you can have them part way opened. You can have them so they're tilting down. Really, really up to you. When it's dry, then you can snip off the end. If you wanted to, if you wanted this stalk, to be more precise, so it's angling in, do that while it's wet. So if you need this to be more angled in, just gently squidge it in while it's wet, and then you'll get more of an angle. Now, if you want to, if you want to create dimensional flowers, and not just for card making, but um, for different types of flower arranging, then what you can actually do with these is pop them on a piece of either wire, florist wire, or sticks, 
and again that'll give you more dimension but look at that you can see I'm getting more carried away that was my first one this evening and they've grown in size but that's up to you and it shows the diversity and what you can actually do with this air dry clay and they really don't take long to dry especially when they're this fine leave them a few hours they'll be completely dry and ready for you to decorate and adorn all your projects